Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about students who have given the prelims of 2023 and are now thinking about how to prepare for mains. My expertise lies in economy and therefore focusing upon economy, I'm going to tell you how do you prepare well for GS, all the papers within the next three months. How do you divide your time? How do you make sure that while you're preparing for one subject, you are not losing out on any aspect of that subject. You're also inculcating answer writing into your preparation in that limited time span that you have. I have picked up economy and I'm going to show you how within a time span of 12 days, you can not just revise the entire syllabus, but will also be able to write well. I will also be telling you at the end of this session, what are the key points that you need to keep in mind to make sure that you can do all of this by yourself without any external help. Because when it comes to answer writing, you might feel that you need some kind of test series. When it comes to evaluation, you might feel that you need somebody to guide you or to tell you uh, uh, whether you have written a right answer or an incorrect answer. But you won't need all of that support beyond a certain point if you keep certain things that I'm going to tell you in mind. Therefore, we are going to discuss how to cover the entire economy for UPSC mains within a time span of 12 days, assuming that you've covered it already and now you're revising it. If you're covering it for the first time, of course, everybody knows in UPSC preparation that, that you need at least a month to prepare well for economy section alone. I'm assuming again that you know the syllabus and you understand the coverage, the entire horizon of the syllabus. The total time that I'm going to be dividing the entire preparation in is about 12 days and I'm going to give you the division as well. Now I have written some chapters here, chapter 1 to 13, chapter 14 to 32 and chapter 33 to 37. What exactly does it mean? I want to discuss that also with you simultaneously as I explain the entire timetable. Instead of dividing the preparation, dividing the completion of syllabus into weeks or trying to cover too many things at one time, I'm going to focus only upon economy and give you a timetable based upon days. The first three days, you're going to focus upon covering chapter 1 to chapter 13. And I'm going to tell you what do we need to cover under these uh, 13 chapters. The additional thing that you have to do is number one, four questions at the end of every day within 30 minutes. Now, this is something that you have to do every day. Otherwise, you will not be able to prepare yourself for this test that you have to write at the end of three days. So for the first three days, you revise chapter one to chapter 13. And at the end of the day, you take out 30 minutes and write at least four questions in those 30 minutes of 150 words each or 250 words each. After this, you can also evaluate these four questions. And I will be telling you very shortly how to do that so that you're prepared well and you your engine has started working, the engine of answer writing, and it prepares you for a test on Thursday. Now, this test on Thursday, which is going to be on the fourth day, will have number one, 20 questions, an entire paper of UPSC mains. It will be of three hours. You have to complete it within three hours or at least try to complete it within three hours. Now, this is very important. Why? Because this is where you start prepping yourself for the actual examination. It doesn't matter if you're writing only eco questions or writing only history questions or writing only ethics questions as long as you're writing 20 questions at least to start with. Okay, so on the fourth day, you just write one test, 20 questions, three hours, and then you will be evaluating the entire paper by yourself for the entire day, for the remaining part of the day. How to do self-evaluation, etc., etc. I will be talking about that, don't worry. Now the question arises, what to do in these 13 chapters? And number two, how to make sure that you're able to write this test, you don't feel underconfident. Now these four questions that you have to write at the end of every day, they will prepare you for this final test on Thursday. If you don't write these four questions at the end of every day, automatically you will not be able to write this test on Thursday. That goes without saying, and you can experiment with it. Ultimately, you will also realize it doesn't happen. 
Now let me talk about chapter one to chapter thirteen. Let me just zoom it out. Okay, so this is the entire timetable that I have. One second. Yes. So this is the timetable that I have. How do I? Yes. So I've zoomed it in. Okay. Now, यहां पे चैप्टर नंबर्स लिखे हैं यू कैन सी द चैप्टर नंबर्स नेशनल इनकम अकाउंटिंग चैप्टर वन इट कम्स अंडर बेसिक्स ऑफ माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स ओके दिस इज कंप्लीटली एज पर द सिलेबस ऑफ यूपीएससी प्लस बेस्ड अपॉन एक्सपीरियंस ऑन पास्ट ईयर पेपर्स पास्ट ईयर क्वेश्चन दैट हैव बीन आस्ट प्लस वेरियस बुक्स ऑफ यूपीएससी लाइक रमेश सिंह नितिन सिंघानिया सर आई एम स्टिल स्टार्टिंग विद Uh, Gaurav sir's book, which has recently come out, Sri Ram sir's book on economy. So it's a mixture of all of those books. This timetable will help you understand how to start and what sequence to follow when you are revising economy. Okay, you can of course have your own sequence as well if you've already created that. So basics of macroeconomics, national income accounting. What comes under national income accounting? वो सब भी यहाँ पे मैंने डाल दिया है आपके लिए. This PDF I will upload in the Telegram group. उसका लिंक नीचे मिल जाएगा सो यू कैन डाउनलोड इट एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज दिस टाइम टेबल फिर स्कूल्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिक थॉट किनिजियन थ्योरी एडम स्मिथ थ्योरी वेरियस अदर थ्योरीज ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट द एंटायर डिबेट ऑफ ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट विच इंक्लूड्स द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ग्रोथ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट रिसेंट ट्रेंड्स इन सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट वो सारी चीजें यहाँ पे आपको कवर करनी है देन वी स्टार्ट विद the core indian economy since independence and even a little bit of before independence so what has been the nature of indian economy how indian economy was before independence how indian economy is performed within 1947 to 1991 this time period uh, specifically related to the macro economy what were the gdp figures why hindu rate of growth all those things then we go section wise Agriculture. What happened in this time period? It will include land reforms. It will include uh, uh, the the green revolution. It will also include a lot of other things, PDS, etc., etc. So this is focused only on agriculture. So this is how you divide your entire time period of 1947 to 1991 in sectors: agriculture, macroeconomy, industry, services, external sector, banking sector. This is how you can divide it and cover it more properly. ओके okay. इसके अंदर क्या क्या आता है वो भी मैंने यहां पे कवर कर दिया है सो यू डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट दैट चैप्टर 11 1947 टू 1991 सर्विसेज चैप्टर 12 एक्सटर्नल सेक्टर एंड 13 इज द फाइनल वन दैट यू हैव टू कवर इन द फर्स्ट थ्री डेज व्हिच इज इकोनॉमिक रिफॉर्म्स तो फर्स्ट थ्री डेज में आपको इकोनॉमिक रिफॉर्म्स तक कवर करना है यू हैव टू ट्राई एंड कवर दिस एंटायर टाइम पीरियड बिटवीन नाइनटीन टू नाइनटीन इंक्लूडिंग द बेसिक्स ऑफ माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स एज वेल okay i hope this is clear so this is what you can cover in the first 30 first 3 days chapter 14 post 1991 we will pick it up after the first 3 days to pehle 3 din mein humne ye kar liya now coming back to this okay so first 3 days you're done with these 13 chapters and then you're taking a test every day of about 4 questions 30 minutes and at the end of third days on the fourth day you're spending the entire fourth day only on a test as well as its self evaluation you have to evaluate it yourself you have to create the questions also yourself you cannot uh, rely on someone else to provide you questions because you're not covering the entire economy you're covering just the part between 47 to 91 plus macroeconomics so you will have to create questions yourself or you will have to figure out a way to find the right set of questions How do you do that? I'll tell you very shortly. Don't worry about that. First, I want to cover with you the entire timetable. Okay. Then comes the second three days. Here you will be covering chapter fourteen to thirty-two. Basically, the entire post-economic reforms, development in India till twenty twenty-three, whatever has happened, plus the various social issues that India has been facing: poverty, illiteracy, unemployment, education, health. whatever problems we are facing whatever challenges we are facing demographics a very big challenge that is coming up 
all of those things have to be covered here plus certain international economic institutions like imf world trade organization world bank basic information and idea about these institutions as well all these things you will be covering here in the second set of 3 days after you have taken the test in the first set again you will follow the same time table four questions every day 30 minutes you can easily create a question on your own even if you are cheating here and just creating a question that you know the answer of it's completely fine the only objective is that you should write even if the question is very simple 10th class 12th class based question it doesn't matter it has to be uh, a question that you can write the answer of that's the only objective okay that's the only thing that you have to do then again a test on monday you have to take again 20 questions 3 hours and the entire day after the test has to be spent on self evaluation okay then you will come to the third set of 3 days which includes less number of chapters but very new and very important chapter 33 to chapter 37 ab main aapko bata deta hu what comes under these chapters and why have they been separately categorized by me okay so if we go down to chapter 32 we've covered almost everything by this time of whatever is asked in the examination but chapter 30 32 yes chapter 33 to 37 is a mixture of whatever we have read till date okay so chapter 1 to chapter 32 covers entire economy uh in these chapters you will also find some discussion on inclusiveness you will also find some discussion on agriculture sector pre reform padenge post reform padenge you will also find some discussion on social sector initiatives when you discuss social issues like poverty education demographics overpopulation all these things but we also need to cover them separately because we are witnessing some questions being asked from this area both in prelims as well as mains okay तो इसमें क्या क्या आपने को कवर करना है चैप्टर 33 थ्री इंक्लूसिव ग्रोथ वीर टॉक अबाउट इट सेपरेटली चैप्टर 34 फोर इज एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर नाउ वी आर टू कंबाइन द एंटायर एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर एंड कवर इट हेयर इट विल इंक्लूड क्रॉपिंग इरिगेशन ट्रांसपोर्ट मार्केटिंग टेक्नोलॉजी सब्सिडीज फूड सिक्योरिटी फूड प्रोसेसिंग सो इट एंड कंपास इज एवरीथिंग दैट कम्स अंडर एग्रीकल्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बोथ द फिजिकल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर विच इंक्लूड्स इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फॉर एग्रीकल्चर infrastructure for transport for energy as well as the social infrastructure we'll talk about both these things investment models you have to cover this separately and why is it so important is because i'm seeing some questions being asked at least in prelims so there might be a movement towards investment model based questions in mains as well so isliye you should be covering at least the basics of investment models okay and then social sector initiatives how is it different from social sector issues in issues you try and understand what are the issues in the social sector that india faces poverty is a social issue okay lack of education is a social issue lack of public health or good quality healthcare is a social issue but what are the initiatives the government is taking what are the initiatives the civil society is taking on various social issues that you have to cover here majority of this can be covered easily through government schemes and that is why i have written here government schemes so when you pick up government schemes majority of social sector initiatives are automatically covered and government schemes form a very very important part not only in gs3 but also in your essay writing also in your gs2 paper somewhere or the other in the examples if you put in government schemes it leaves a very good positive impact so government schemes have to be on your tips okay so this is what i have classified separately because this is more intensive and more current affairs based more dependent on current affairs to isko aapko 3 din lagane hain maximum this is the amount of time that you can dedicate to chapter 33 to chapter 37 these terms are specifically mentioned in the syllabus please remember that that is why i have classified them separately again you will write four questions every day 30 minutes each and evaluate it at the end of the day and there will be a test on friday that you have to take 20 questions 3 hours including self evaluation ठीक है तो ये आपको चीजें करनी है दिस इज हाउ यू कैन प्रिपेयर वेल फॉर इकोनॉमी सेक्शन इन 12 डेज एंड यू कैन क्रिएट अ सिमिलर टाइम टेबल फॉर वेरियस अदर सब्जेक्ट्स एज वेल 
I'm just talking about economy to give you an idea as to how you can create your own timetable to be able to cover GS properly. If you miss out on any of the parts that I've mentioned, if you miss out on four questions, answer writing every day, writing a test of 20 questions every fourth day, then whatever effort you're making is not going to leave any impact, will not result in success. You're moving farther away from your goal automatically. So what is the challenge in UPSC prep? The basic challenge is organizing your studies and not studying more. So you have to keep this here. Try and organize your studies in such a way that whatever effort you put in results in a positive outcome, results in some kind of growth for you, results in uh, you getting a positive result, results in more marks at the end of the day. Because that is what you have to do. That is what you are aspiring for. If your marks are less, you will not be a civil servant. And this is how by organizing your GS economy prep within 12 days, you can achieve a lot in at least this paper. Two major points that I wanted to discuss, which I session ke starting mein aapko the session, I will discuss at the end. How do you find questions? How do you create your own questions? It's very easy. Your first target will be previous year papers. Now, a lot of students might say, sir, previous year papers are not going to be repeated. It is not about repetition. It is not about predicting the exam. It is about practicing. If you are able to practice enough, no matter what question comes in the examination, you will be able to take it head on. You will be able to write it well. Given that you are practicing, and the best way of practicing is to see what kind of questions have been asked in the previous years, to pick them up, the latest ones, of course, the first. And using those questions, you try and understand the orientation of UPSC civil services examination. Because majority of us think about using previous year papers, but end up just looking them on an, uh, you know, any odd day and not actually practicing them. So, so this is the change that you have to make. Try and use previous year papers. If there's any previous year paper that is about macroeconomics or that is about any social issue, you can directly, um, uh, you know, tell yourself, okay, this is what I'm going to write on today. This is one question for me. Okay. So this is how you find the best questions for yourself. Number one, using previous year papers. Number two, you can also use NCRTs. You can also use a lot of online platforms. Or you can, in fact, make your own previous year paper, make your own question itself. Even if you know the answer to that question, it's fine. Just write. That is the objective of writing four questions every day and practicing an entire test of 20 questions at the end of three days. It's not to test whether you know it or not. It's to uh, help you write. That is the ultimate objective. Okay. Therefore, even if you make your own questions and even if those questions are very simple, it's completely okay. Just at least get on with writing. That's the objective. You will also find a lot of test series which give you first topic wise test and then comprehensive test. You can also use those. You can pick out questions which uh, pertain to these chapters that you've studied. Instead of thinking of studying the entire economy first and then writing a test, it won't work. Believe me, you can try it out. It won't work. You have to divide your entire syllabus, your entire subject into three, four parts, write every day pertaining to only that one part and also writing a comprehensive test of only a part of the entire syllabus of one subject. If you wait for you to finish the entire subject and then write, it will never happen. Okay. Don't worry about current affairs based economy questions. A lot of students will ask me this, sir, majority of questions that come in mains in economy are current affairs based. They don't ask questions from basics. So why do we need to write basic questions and answers? Well, even if they're asking questions based on current affairs, they expect you to write the basics also. They expect you to be thorough with the basics as well. You can check the toppers copies. You will easily realize these toppers are also inculcating the basics into their answers. Agar aapko lagta hai, bas current affairs likke nikal loge, economy wala section nahi niklega. You will not be able to do it. You have to make sure that you're also giving them tangible, substantial information from the core of economy. Kali newspaper information se nahi chalega, the core of economy also has to be explained, discussed. Okay. So don't worry about current affairs based questions. The test series that you're going to write ultimately will help you cover that. 
बट एटलीस्ट बेसिक्स तो आपके एक बार कवर होने चाहिए ना बिफोर यू गेट ऑन विद कॉम्प्रेंसिव टेस्ट सीरीज एंड दिस इज वॉट विल मेक दैट हैपन सो डिवाइड योर प्रिपरेशन इन टू थ्री पार्ट थ्री डेज ईच एवरी फोर्थ डे यू स्टार्ट यू टेक अ कंप्लीट टेस्ट एवरी डे यू टेक अ स्मॉल टेस्ट ऑफ थर्टी मिनट्स एंड देन इवेल्युएटेड योर सेल्फ नाउ कम्स द लास्ट पॉइंट दैट इज सेल्फ इवेल्युएशन आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट सेल्फ इवेल्युएशन सेपरेटली यूजिंग टॉपर्स आंसर आंसर शीट्स वाई बिकॉज नंबर वन आंसर शीट्स ऑफ टॉपर्स आर द बेस्ट वे टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट टू राइट एंड हाउ टू राइट सेकेंडली using these toppers answer sheets is also the best way to explain to you how to evaluate your own copy yourself when i evaluate their copy in front of you automatically you will understand okay this is how i can evaluate my own notebook my own copy my own answer so i will be picking up the toppers answer sheets and through that i will try and explain to you how to evaluate these answers yourself you do not have to rely on anyone to do it for you you can very well do it yourself as well so diy is the key okay if you have any doubts any comments anything you want to say you can mention it in the comment section below i'll try and uh, answer it as soon as possible i'll see you very soon again guys uh, with respect to upsc examination mainly mains is coming up i will be talking about it a lot from now on and i'll try and provide as much information as much clarity as possible uh specifically related to economy section because i'll be more comfortable in providing you something about that and you will also find it more useful all the best guys take care bye bye jai hind